Welcome Scorpio, we're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with in a minute using a lover's oracle, so potentially a love reading, but it could apply to any relationship in your life. Okay, so just let it, um, let the cards speak and see how it works for you. Okay, um, also look at your, your moon, your rising and your Venus signs as well. That might give you an overview. If this one doesn't resonate for you, one of those probably will. Okay, so two more cards for Scorpio. One more card for Scorpio, please. No, I only want one. Thank you. There it is. Thank you. Let me pick this one up off the floor. Okay, Scorpio. First card up here is this card here. Okay, life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. Excellent. Okay, the next card up here is transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Oh, that's so nice. I love that card. Okay, and the next card here is Romance. Cupid's Arrow Strikes. Scorpio. Interesting. Okay, let's start with the first one. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You'll be surprised where it leads. Well, it looks like it's going to lead to some transformation and some romance. But let's look further into this. Okay, already this is out. We've got Dragonfly, which I love because it's only one card, only one more card for Scorpio, please, in relation to this card here. Thank you. On the floor again. Let me pick it up. Okay, Scorpio. So we have Dragonfly. Live life. Live life to the fullest yeah yeah like this is accepting all changes right it's not been in that resistance mode yeah so when you're accepting um or living life to its fullest you're accepting everything that happens even if it's uncomfortable even if it's not something you want you know and um yeah that's really i love that live life to its fullest even if it's not comfortable. Okay, we have ephemeral. And I feel like this stage, this this changing cycles, this shifting cycles is not going to last long. Okay. Um, this is this is part of you understanding what it is that you want to plant in your inner garden, what it is that you want to grow for yourself. Okay. It's almost like for some of you, you're going to be able to have a glimpse into what it is that you are growing. Okay. Um, and it may be um actually growing in relationship because there's two people here. Um, but ultimately for yourself, because the most important relationship that we have in our lifetime is the one with ourselves. So this is what is important here. OK, so Peacock, raise your standards. OK, so Scorpio, this is not settling. This is about you not settling and expecting to be respected, expecting to be um, <clears throat> to receive honesty. Right. There are certain certain um, levels of expectations that are okay to have, and um, and that is all about what it is that you know when you are looking at the inner garden here. What is it that you are receiving in your life from other people that are, are complementing this? Okay, your vision. What is your vision? What is that? What do you want that to look like? You know. Get clear on that so you can get a glimpse into your future, how you want that to look, so that you can start to grow this in a garden based on what it is that your vision is, okay? Next, yes, see, this is like laying the eggs, like planting the seeds of that, yeah? And um, 
and understanding you know just like in this just like every year every spring these chicks are born yeah um there are changing cycles and each year there's going to be different a different amount of eggs in the nest it's going to be in a different tree you know um and they're going to hatch on a different day you know so in that regard this is something that i think is very important for you to adapt to this fluid change in your life so that you, it's not so um it doesn't feel so uncomfortable and it's a little bit easier for you to go with the flow of the changes that do occur okay transformation and this is it right when we're talking about the going with the flow of the changes that occur transformations ha it happens every day right so we need to be able to be able to adjust to the transformation that does take form okay your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things here's the other thing okay is that making sure that you are clear on your vision so that as your relationship deepens you're holding on to that vision for yourself so your relationship with yourself does not get lost in your relationship with others okay this is also very important to maintain our sense of self while we're in relationship with another letting go learn to let go yeah see this is it again right learn to let go of the things that no longer serve you that are potentially stopping you from deepening this relationship with someone else okay okay so we have shelter and we have labyrinth interesting i feel like this is sort of like there's this fear for some of you um because it seems like a maze that you have to wade your way through uh, in order to get to where it is that you need to go. And some of you just want to actually hibernate and hide away, right? Um, I also feel like there's the sense of fear of being exposed um, of that part of you that you don't want anyone to see, of being exposed as you wade your way through this maze to get to where it is that you want to go. So it's a matter of... In order for you to get to the center, to get to the depths that this is talking about for this transformation to occur, you have to step out of your comfort zone. Okay, you have to step out of what shelters you, which keeps you safe. Um, I mean, that's not to put yourself at risk. I don't mean that, but the, ultimately the comfort zone. Step out of that and go forward, okay? Children, know that your children are protected okay and i want to say for those of you that who may not have children know that your inner child is protected and um, when you step step into that adult self you allow that inner child to take a back seat and let the adult live from the place of the adult rather than the child trying to navigate its way through an adult world which is incredibly scary okay um yeah so let's have a look further about children for scorpio please children and this could also be children who are yet to be um come onto this earth plane you know light we have light and opportunity so i feel like this is about you really centering yourself into getting in alignment with yourself okay because there is an opportunity that is going to present itself if it hasn't already um and you will be able to take a leap not just forward but up there's this leveling up that is going to happen for you here scorpio okay so it's going to require you to step out of your comfort zone so just remember that okay uh, we have a romance cupid's arrow strikes ooh la la okay so let's have a look further into this one cupid's arrow strikes dove take a leap of faith oh yeah see this is what i'm talking about taking a leap of faith here yeah gorgeous knowing that the world is your oyster 
No, you're never too old. Cocoon stage. Yeah, see, this is the uncomfortable part, right? Being in this cocoon stage, the transformation, right? Look at what happens to the butterflies. It transforms from the caterpillar. It goes into the cocoon and turns to mush. How uncomfortable is that? You know, and this is it. Some of you may not know who you are or feel like you don't know who you are because you're in this this midst of this transformation of your life, right? Um, we have weave here. This is about you building a foundation for yourself. You know, getting everything in order so that you can catch the opportunities that come your way so that you don't miss out. So this is about you navigating your way through um, this time which is all about, remember, all about the vision that you hold for your inner garden, you know, and the inner, and the garden that you want to um, grow and harvest for your life. Okay, so the last card we have here is intuition. Trust your intuition. Yeah, first and foremost, trust your intuition, right? If something's off and telling you something's not right, trust that. Okay, so tell me more about intuition here. Reach. Reach, reach for the light. And then we have reflection. See, again, it's interesting with this card that the shadow came up, right? I want to say reach for the light here. Um, but it's also not forgetting the shadow part of yourself. Because this part of yourself is the self that never goes away, okay, it, it doesn't leave us, we, you know, as we heal, these things are still there, it's still part of us, yeah, um, those things that irritate us, those bad moods that we have, all these things are still part of who we are, okay, um, and it's important for you to reflect upon those and and have a look especially in this cocoon stage it's a perfect time to do that you know um you know and this is this weaving here is catching yourself in those moments of it could be that you know this kind of stinking thinking type thing going on or this negative thinking right that is important for you to catch yourself out so that you can change that so um you know, because if we're talking about this inner garden here, when we're talking about getting a glimpse into what it is that you're growing, this could actually be a glimpse into what it is you're growing in the negative form, right? If you continue with the negative thoughts, if you continue with whatever it is that you're doing that isn't serving you so well, then this is what will result. But if you go down this path of, you know, a more positive um, light and a more positive route, then that it you know, will give you a glimpse as to what it is. So, you know, it may pay for you to actually sit and um, really focus on that consciously to say, okay, what is going to transpire based on what it is that I am growing within, based on my thoughts, based on my emotions, based on the people I have around me? What is it that I am growing for my future here? And is this in line with the vision that I have of how I want things to be? Okay, so reach for a um, reach for the light but be aware of that shadow self okay don't deny that because the more you deny it the more it will raise its ugly head and go you know what I need to be heard here just like the inner child okay so this is really something that is important for you to pay attention to okay um, and not to allow your fear to get in the way of your intuition okay um because that's going to make things seem quite blurry so just be mindful of that okay um and the one thing i want to say scorpio is that whenever you're trying to decide on something sleep on it first and wake up in the morning refreshed and see if um you can view things from a different light and it might just help you have a different perspective on things okay scorpio I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.